this brings us back then to our original question. If we've got concrete that is susceptible to de-icer damage, are there some chemicals that will be less problematic than others? This is a somewhat complex question to answer, as we will see. Most of the commonly used highway de-icing chemicals will exacerbate freeze-thaw scaling. This includes salt, calcium chloride, urea, the acetates, the formates, the glycols. All of these chemicals will increase freeze-thaw damage. The interesting exception is magnesium-based de-icers. Magnesium chloride and CMA, or calcium magnesium acetate, will cause less freeze-thaw damage to concrete than other de-icers will. This appears to be due to an interesting reaction between magnesium and the concrete. The concrete is alkaline, and in the, in the presence of the alkaline environment of the concrete, magnesium will react to form an insoluble precipitate called magnesium hydroxide. This insoluble precipitate probably uh, plugs up the holes on the surface of the concrete and forms a kind of protective barrier to insulate it from further ingress of the de-icing chemical. Now we might be tempted to stop at this point and simply conclude that magnesium chloride and CMA are the least damaging to use on concrete. However, it's not that simple. Because while magnesium-based de-icers appear to cause less freeze-thaw damage, they may cause more damage from the standpoint of chemical reaction. This then leads us to the other mechanism by which de-icers can hurt concrete. All of the commonly used de-icers, including sodium chloride, CMA, magnesium chloride, calcium chloride, all of these de-icers will cause chemical reactions with concrete that can potentially damage it over time. Each chemical has its own characteristic chemical reaction, and I won't take the time right now to go into all the nitty-gritty detail of what those different reactions are, but I'm just going to give you a very brief summary of the most commonly used chloride de-icers. Of the common chloride de-icers, the least damaging to concrete in terms of a chemical reaction is plain salt, sodium chloride. The next most damaging is calcium chloride, and the most damaging is magnesium chloride. So now you see why it is difficult to make a simple, uh, a simple determination of which chemical is going to be least damaging to concrete. In terms of one type of very common damage, free saw scaling, magnesium-based de-icers are the least problematic. But in terms of chemical reactions, they may be more problematic. So there's no simple answer to the question. We also need to be cautious about being too quick to assume that magnesium-based de-icers are most damaging to concrete, because that's not necessarily obvious either. The tests that were done to measure the chemical effects of de-icers on concrete were laboratory experiments done under very aggressive accelerated conditions. And it's not obvious to what extent these predict the actual amount of damage that would be caused to concrete under real uh, field de-icing conditions that are going to involve much lower exposure to de-icers. The only way to know that is by actually observing concrete in the field that is exposed to de-icers under real-life de-icing conditions. Fortunately, data like that is available. There have been a number of field studies done by the American Concrete Institute and the Portland Cement Association where they looked at the effect of de-icers on concrete in the field. And what they found was that calcium chloride appears to have negligible effects on the concrete durability and the effects of magnesium chloride appear to be slow. So the good news is that we've got field test data that also indicates that properly made concrete is really very resistant to damage by de-icers. So in conclusion, what is the safest de-icer to use on concrete? Well, we've seen that there is no one simple answer. We've seen that concrete that is properly made, air and trained, and given enough time to cure, is very resistant to damage by concrete. If concrete is of marginal quality, not completely air entrained, or not given enough time to cure, it can be damaged by de-icers, and the type of de damage will vary depending on the de-icer. And there's no obvious de-icer which is the, the best de-icer to use. Magnesium-based de-icers appear to cause less damage in terms of freeze-thaw scaling. Magnesium-based de-icers, on the other hand, may cause more damage from a chemical reaction. But the good news is that the field data that we have suggests that concrete that is properly made is really very resistant to de-icer damage. So I hope this helps you better understand how de-icers affect the durability of concrete. If you have more questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. 